good evening, morning, whatever the hell it is for you right now. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that this is actually footage from last week because I've been having a lot of trouble with my computer. I have filled it up, and I bought a Western Digital 6-terabyte uh, external hard drive, which I cannot seem to get all my files over to that over to that particular thing. There's a monkey in my background. What are you doing? So anyways, uh, so this is like a week old, and uh, we've had rain events and uh, all kinds of stuff. So just enjoy what you see. If you don't, well, you know, you can always click off just like, uh, you know, always. And, uh, you know, I won't, you're not going to bother me any. I need to shave. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is just shave this the heck off and, uh, you know, let the beard grow. What do you think, Will? You're going to break your neck. What are you going to do? You're going to fall off of there. Get over here. So at least if you fall, you fall onto me. There's a hole in that chair. It's a wicker chair. All right. Hurricane Laura has missed us. Thank God. Uh, we've had nothing but rain every day. It rained this morning again. Rained last night. Rained the night before. Uh, we have bailed three days in the month of August. Okay. Oh, my God. There's been a fat man in here. Timothy. Jesus. Three days in the month of August is all we bailed. So, um, we're trying our hardest to get these thousands of acres of material on the ground. And when I say thousands of acres, I mean it. There's thousands of acres of material that need to be bailed. Uh, just got to get mowed first. I got property owners that are yelling at me, which sometimes you wonder about them. It's like, hey guys, you know, you do realize that the whole month of August has been a wash, right? Um, yeah, well, where were you in July? Well, I was bailing hay. I just wasn't bailing hay where you are, that's all. Well, I saw you on the road up there and you left us and we were worried. It's like, okay, shit, well, whatever. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go mow some second cut because I gotta make idiot bricks. As much as I love idiot bricks, I don't. Um, but we're gonna make idiot blocks and uh, I just have to. I got a couple of customers that are requiring them and I only make second cut into idiot bricks. So this is second cut and uh, we're gonna do it. I will be able to cut, I think I'm only gonna cut about 20 acres tonight, that's it. And then we're gonna have it tedded out first thing in the morning. And hopefully Sunday, no, Monday, we'll be bailing into little bales. Uh, I just gotta dig my little baler out. So there we go. I will get some footage of me and Cody mowing. Oh, 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 I did wanna say that the, uh, there was an individual, and I don't know what his name is. I know it was a he, because there's not too many women that watch my channel or know anything about uh, John Deere tractors that she would have known, but it was a fellow. And he asked me yesterday if I changed the uh, CAN bus terminator at the front of the transmission. And I had changed all of it. So I had changed all four CAN bus terminators uh, that my nephew had said were there, Cody, and uh, we did change those, and curiosity kind of got the better of me this morning at about 5.30. I got up and I went to the John Deere website and I started looking up wiring harnesses for a 7530 with an auto power IVT transmission, and lo and behold, there was a CAN bus terminator that I had missed, that he had missed, and uh, in the parts catalog it only says there's one of those things. Well, there's one per wiring harness and they're all connected to one another, so each wiring harness turns into another wiring harness and then you got to deal with that. So, anyways, this morning I found the fifth, the fifth CAN bus terminator and I replaced it. Thank you. 
that was the problem. So I called Alex out of John Deere at Deere Country, told him that I had missed this CAN bus terminator, and it was repaired. It fixed it. So all my voltages changed to where they were supposed to be when I replaced that CAN bus terminator um, on the D plug on the uh, operator uh, port, the OpsCAN bus operator port or uh, service port. Uh, I clipped into it and lo and behold, something worked. So that was nice. I took it for a drive, everything worked out, so I'm going to call it good. The 7530 is now back in business. And I'd really like to know why my mirror is where it is. It should not be. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get on to the actual mowing of this. stupid people and I didn't turn on the camera and I should have I pull up to the end of a road that intersects with this road here yeah 519 there's the school I pull up to the end of the road there on Union Road to intersect this road and a truck is coming down the road so whatever I gotta stop it's my stop stop sign so I pull up to the stop sign and this truck stops in the middle of 519 and I look up the road up 519 and I see a bicycler like 100 yards away there's more than enough time for this guy to make the left hand turn so I'm not in any hurry so I'm, I'm sitting there waiting got my turn signal on and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the bicycle goes by and then I'm waiting again and the guy is standing sitting there and then he gives this shrugging his shoulders bullshit as though I'm supposed to go. Well, I'm at a stop sign. My job is to stop and wait for you, you stupid asshole, to drive. And it's like New York City is emptying out. And this is just the God's honest truth. Mayor de Blasio is an incompetent fool that is allowing uh, drug dealers, thugs, thieves, and murderers to run rampant in New York City. So if you're on the other side of the world and you want to 
come to New York City, it used to be our nation's safest city. That is no longer the case. So all the people that are able to move away from New York City, uh, a lot of times they have houses out here and they just would come out for the weekend, every once a month come out for the weekend, spend the weekend at their house here or whatever. Well now they've moved here and it's disrupting the way of life here. These people are dumber than boxes of rocks. If you got to stop in the middle of the road while I'm at a stop sign waiting for you to go, finally I went to go and then he stepped on the gas like he was going to go because he realized I only go 20 miles an hour and by him waiting for me to get ahead of him, he was going to have to follow me 20 miles per hour. So now I'm in the middle of 519 and he guns it because he realized he's a fucking moron. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Anyway, so those are my adventures in bailing today. And about five minutes after I pulled into the farm, I decided I would go and get a uh, load of hay that was probably 10 miles away from the farm. I just grabbed the 6210R with a wagon. There was 15 4x4s up there, and that's all that that wagon will take without me throwing straps over it. So I took off up there, and probably within an hour of the time that I mowed this, we got deluges of rain, but that'll be tomorrow's video, so stay tuned and see you then.